ASHTO T11 and ASTMC117 are the standard method of test for materials finer than the 75 micron or 200 sieve in mineral aggregates by washing. This method is used to determine the amount of fine material in concrete aggregates. If there are an excessive amount of fine particles, inadequate bond between the hardened cement paste and the concrete aggregates will result. This can cause low compressive strengths, reduced durability, and in some cases, pop-outs where the dust-coated particles exist near the concrete surface. To perform this test, you will need a balance accurate to 0.1% of the sample mass. The appropriate sieves. You will also need a container large enough to hold the sample as well as an ample amount of water. And finally an oven accurate to 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. We will now review the steps of this procedure. Once again, these steps come from the Aggregate Testing Technician Handbook. The first thing we want to do is dry our sample in an oven to a constant mass and record this number to the nearest 0.1%. We now want to place our sample into a container large enough to hold the sample as well as an ample amount of water. The size of the sample will depend upon the maximum size aggregate in the sample. Once in the container, we want to completely cover the sample with water. You now want to begin to agitate your sample. This should separate the fine particles from the coarse particles, bringing the fine particles into suspension. We now want to pour our wash water over the set of nested sieves. In this case, we have the 8, 16, and 200. As we pour the wash water, we want to take care not to transfer the coarser particles into the nested sieves. We now want to repeat these steps, starting with covering the sample with water, followed by the agitation, and finally pouring the water over the nested sieves. And we want to repeat these steps until the water coming out the other side of the nested sieves is completely clean. Once all the water is completely clean coming out the other side of the sieves, we want to reintroduce the coarse particles back into our sample. We do this by flushing the sieves with water. Once we have reintroduced all of the coarser particles back into our sample, we want to dry our sample to a constant mass. Once the sample is dried, we want to record the weight to the nearest 0.1%. Now that we have completed all of the physical aspects of our test, we can go ahead and do our calculation. We do this by taking the original dry mass of the sample and subtracting from it the mass of the sample after washing. We then divide this number by the original dry mass of the sample and multiply this number by 100. We will report all findings to the nearest 0.1% unless the number is greater than 10%, in which case we will report to the nearest whole number. Let's go ahead and do an example. Let's assume that the original dry mass of our sample was 301.1 grams. And then, after washing, the dry mass of our sample was 276.8 grams. So now, we can go ahead and plug our numbers into the equation. 301.1 grams, the original dry mass of the sample, minus 276.8 grams, the weight of the sample after washing, divided by the original dry weight of the sample, 301.1 grams. And we should get 24.3 grams divided by 301.1 grams. And this should give us 0 0.0807. And if we multiply 0 0.0807 by 100, we should have 8.1% materials finer than the 75 micron sieve. Once again, if this number were greater than 10%,
we would report to the nearest whole number. This will conclude AASHTO T11 and ASTMC 117 Standard Method of Test for Determining Materials Finer Than the 75 Micron or Number 200 Sieve in Mineral Aggregates by Washing. Here are the review steps for this procedure. And finally, for your review, the deviations between ASHTO and ASTM.